Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, this video is a very important message for everyone. Uh, and this video is all about one of my subscriber uh, whom recently I had a conversation with. And uh, again, the title is like six certification in data science, but no jobs. Now, recently I just had a conversation with one of my subscriber. Uh, that subscriber was actually preparing from data science from past one year and he has focused more on getting certifications in data science like tensorflow certification aws machine learning certification google cloud uh, certification and it is not like uh, he did not get any data science calls as saw, uh, as such he got around somewhere around four to five calls and his experience is somewhere around four to five years right he even got data science job calls and with respect to that three to four calls, he was not even able to clear the first round of interview. Now, in this video, I'm just going to tell you a very important message. Then uh, just a week back, I spoke to him. You know, I, I was traveling, I was outside, right? Then I spoke to him in phone, he, he called me and uh, I tried to understand what is his problem and all. Uh, he was pretty much uh, tensed and demotivated uh, because even though he had so many certifications, he was not able to clear the interview. He was saying, Krish, I'm at least getting calls. That basically means I'm going in the right path. But when it comes to interview, I'm not able to clear it. Uh, and then he focused on, Krish, I'm planning to get one more certification. And uh, he was going in that specific way. Now, I had a conversation with him and I told them, buddy, I don't have, you know, in a single certification and I've just failed in one data science interview. Then I asked him, what is your main aim? Is your main aim to get a data science job? He said, yes, Krish, because from past six months, I am not doing anything apart from studying data science and clearing certification. I really want to get job as soon as possible, right? So I told him, if your main aim is to get data science job, why you are investing most of your time to get certifications? I'm not saying guys, certification is bad, right? I'm, I'm, I'm never saying that certification is good. It will actually help you to showcase your profile. And probably because of the certification, he was able to get around three to four calls at least, right? Then I saw his resume. I also took a simple mock interview with him, you know, in the phone itself. Okay, tell me about this one. Tell me about this. Tell me about what he has written in his resume. I did not see his resume yet. Okay, I just told him that what have you written in your resume? How you can explain your project? And there he was not able to explain properly. The answers that he was saying was not at all satisfiable. That was the point I understood what mistakes he were doing, right? What mistakes he was actually doing. Because understand guys, just by writing certification will not help you to get jobs. I have taken interviews in my previous company also. Not only me, I, I and my colleague. That colleague is somewhere around 17 years of ex experience in analytics industry. What that person was focusing on when he saw the certification in resume, he said that, no, I'm not interested in this. I'll just ask him main questions, how he'll try to solve the use case. I want to know that. And that is what company is looking at guys. Try to understand. This is a very sincere message because just understand guys, he has, he has just put up six months and he's focused on clearing the certification. If he had focused on implementing more end to end application, if he had um, focused on implementing more practical implementation, that would have been amazing. Solving different, different use cases that would have been better when compared to certification. Yes, you get a certification, you skip that focus more on implementing an end to end project much more properly guys. That is the major, major aim for a person who is looking into data science job. You get a data science job and do, you do 100 different kind of certification, I, I'd say go ahead with it. But if you are looking for a job, if you are looking for a job, focus on learning data science, focus on solving use cases, focus on solving complex use cases, focus on solving end-to-end -end use cases. That is the most important thing. Now, because of this, I tried to guide him out. Then I, 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 he told, I told him to send his resume in my WhatsApp. Then I saw the resume then his resume was all about certification, all about certification. And when I saw the use cases, the use cases were pretty simple. Now just imagine this many certifications you have. And based on that, you're not at least having a good end to end project. Right? 
then i guided him then he understood what i tried to explain him and this is the most important information i want to share with you all guys certification is not compulsory i don't have a single certification in data science whenever a use case come i think how will i implement it i'll not say that first wait i'll get a certification then i'll try to solve that particular problem no certification is good you can have it you can have it to showcase your profile okay you have done this 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 right more than certificate just try to share your knowledge people will know that you are knowledgeable in that specific subject yes it will be good for your resume for your beautiful resume it will be looking good but again i'm telling you guys certification is not everything if you are a student if you are looking for a job first focus on getting a job don't focus on get talking about certification i've seen so many questions krish should i go for this particular certification will it be helpful it may be helpful guys you may get one or two calls but cracking the interview is the most important thing right that is the most important thing this is a sincere message i spoke to him half an hour i was feeling sad forget about him i was feeling sad then i guided him in a proper way let's see after one or two months what will happen what changes will come i'll definitely i'm in touch with the, with that guy because i just heard him here just focus the path that he has taken is completely different guys uh just imagine you yeah, just investing around 6 to 7 months within 6 months definitely you'll be able to clear data science interview you're focusing on data science learning data science focusing on solving complex problems problems use cases both in machine learning or deep learning or whatever techniques you, it may be because he has done certification in tensorflow when i asked him some questions with respect to tensorflow he does not know when i asked him some some questions with respect to aws machine learning he does not know i asked him a simple question how do you do incremental model training he said no no krish i have not done in that particular certification i don't know where that was when i asked him simple things about deployment no no idea now this is the problem that people are facing this is the important message that i want to give in this particular year guys you are looking for a job try to get the job first then focus on any other thing because job will give you the bread and butter that is required after on top of that whatever cherry top butter you want to add just add keep on adding not a problem but again your first aim should be getting a job just imagine if there is no backup how will you survive even for 6 months that guy had a backup he was trying to tell me but th- again and in 2020 four things that you should that i have learned always have a backup guys have some income other than uh, have some side income other than a full time job make good friends never hesitate to invest on yourself right and the fourth one is that love your family and everyone guys they are the people who will always be there with you all right so this was the last video in 2020 uh and uh, it was pretty much amazing i hope i'm able to share enough knowledge i'm able to share my experience with you all guys this is what i'm not against an any certification as such i'm not against an against anybody i'm i'm just i my target is that whenever i am sharing my knowledge that should be helpful for you to get a job that is the most important thing you you join any kind of courses but again understand that the main important thing is that you should get a job and i will keep on working on that unless and until i i i will definitely you, you can see that i'm also making videos on job related things and also specifically for fresher than experienced people right so i hope you like this particular video this was the last video of 2020 please do subscribe the channel i'll see you all in the next video meet you on 2021 thank you bye bye